back into this creepy corridor. Ooh. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another Minecraft map playthrough. I'm Lucas Scooter and let's get straight to it. Today I will be playing The Librarian by Ukak333. And before I begin, I have a special announcement, and that would be... First off, this is the first episode of Season 2. Yay! Secondly, um, because it's October, I couldn't say this because Grief was a map that I had recorded before I went away over the summer. And so, Grief... Technically, it just kind of worked out that way, that it became part of, uh, for October, I'm just doing kind of scary horror-themed maps, I guess. They don't necessarily all have to be horror. <laughs> That's kind of all I found when you find Halloween maps, but whatever. Okay. So, I read the Rules, and, uh, I have the resource pack on, as you can see, my inventory has been spray-painted. Okay, story, I have not read. There are two storybooks. Let's just read one. Introduction. You wake up in a library. You don't know how you got there or who you are. There's blood on the floor, and you get the sense that something horribly wrong is going on. Can you escape? Well, I didn't see any blood on the floor. Well, I'm guessing maybe that happens when I click the begin button, but... Okay, page two is blank. It's just going to be on page 50, isn't it? Oop. Fear the white eyes. Great. Wake up. He's coming. Okay, so we already have something's coming, blood, and here a brine. Um, it was. I guess I should have read that. Reorganizing books, removing jump, re repacking jump scares. Ugh. Removing bodies, and the map is loaded. Where am I? This isn't where I fell asleep. What's going on? You are not supposed to be here. Leave now. Who said that? Like I want to be here, but how to get out? Oh. Got stuck on a chair. Um, well, if I wanted to read all these books, that would take a really long time. I can say that. Oh no, someone was eating in the library. There's ketchup on the floor. That's a dead end. Interesting fact, if you always turn left in a maze, except where you can't turn left, you will eventually find the end. It just might take a while. Honestly, I'm thinking you just need to follow the blood, but whatever. Or ketchup, or whatever substance it is. Let's go this way. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I feel like I'm just going in circles. This is a lot of books. How many books? N no. That's exactly how I f probably f am going to feel about this horror map. No. Just, just no. <laughs> For some reason that reminds me of Grumpy Cat. The archives. Okay, well, apparently history has... A lot of things have happened over the course of history because the archives has a lot of stuff. Oh, a sweet little potted plant and a painting and a desk. Nothing could possibly go wrong, could they? The museum. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like this at all. Oh, great, another maze. Okay, let's go through the maze of books, which wasn't really a maze last time. I just followed the blood, but... What the heck is this? Okay, that does nothing. And there's nothing underneath the table. <laughs> be so freaky if there was something underneath the table. Um, musty storage crate. Ink sacks and Little Red Riding Hood. I have a feeling this story has been altered and it's not the tale of Little Red Riding Hood I am used to. 
Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Little Red Riding Hood. She was named so because she always wore a scarlet cloak and hood. One day her mother told her, I fear your grandmother's getting sick. So Little Red Riding Hood took off through the woods, happily carrying her basket of sweets. Her mother was not particularly thrilled to have the girl running through the woods by herself, but it was no matter. Unbeknownst to either her mother or Red, a wolf sitting outside the window had heard them talking, and he hurried through the woods to get to the grandmother's house first. She opened the door, whereupon he redacted. Red eventually arrived at the house, and the wolf, dressed in her grandmother's clothes, called out, "'Come in, dearie!' She came in and beheld her grandmother, rather hairier than she remembered. She sat down next to the old woman. "'Why, grandmother, what big hands you have!' "'All the better to knit with, my dear.' "'Why, grandmother, what, a uh, hairy face you have?' "'All the better to see you, what, you, Mrs. dear, were grandmother, what big teeth you have.' Okay, well, this story, apparently, the first part was edited perfectly fine, and then it's going downhill from there. Um, yep, there's a message on the last page. All the better to redacted. You know what? I'm going to steal this story. Stolen story. Perfect. It's now mine. I wrote that book. Totally. I don't like long corridors. Wake up! I think I am awake, though. Right? I feel awake. Maybe I'm not, though. Long, dark hallways don't work with blindness. Computer lab! There's nothing scary about computers, right? Okay, there's nothing there. Unless there's something around here. No. So, so far, a horror map seems to have, like, one thing that it says over and over again. In this case, it appears that that is no and wake up. And maybe the little red riding story has something to do with it, but somehow I doubt that. Back into this creepy corridor. Ooh. <laughs> that scared me. Herobrine, sculpted by Redacted. Hello, Herobrine. Ooh, let's put that back. <sighs> I know what's going to happen. Uh, because it said, Beware the White Eyes, and this is Herobrine. This sculpture is going to come to life. Oh, gosh. Okay, that's that's just my guess. I don't, I don't like that, though. No, 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 no. Please don't do that. Oh, that's going to be so freaky. And there's gonna be lots of loud noises. A brother's duel. I think their eyes... All the paintings in this room are probably gonna have white eyes. That would just be my guess. Yep, contemplation. Because I'm pretty sure that this painting had black eyes. Apotheosis. I think the weather had black eyes too, and they're white now, even though it doesn't look really scary that way. The eight. Oh, that looks like Slenderman. Um... A key and the mysterious book. Sometimes when in a horrible situation, a victim will retreat into a fantasy world from which they cannot wake up. The victims live in a world inside their head, which gradually gives them clues that they need to wake up in the form of notes and other clues. Sometimes a figure even comes to them in their fantasy and forcibly asks them to. Please wake up. Well, at least they said please. That's, that's nice of them. Temptation. Okay. Dante. Behind you. Oh, gosh. No, get away from me. What the heck was that noise? <laughs> uh. Duh. No. No. No, thank you. Uh. Okay. Great. Oh, great. Is. No, mm. Yep, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Oh, no. Okay. I could move just a little faster. That that would be fine by me. 
but at least, I mean, it's not like something's trying to kill me. It's trying to tell me to wake up. It's nice of it. It's like a wake-up call in hotels, except scarier and much darker. No, 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 no. This hallway's even darker than the last one. Storage closet or book repair? Oh. Oh! Leave. Um, I... Mm, e. You see, I'm having a little trouble with leaving. And... Is this just all cobwebs? And a skull. Alright, I'm gonna be forced to explore this, but in the meantime... Yeah. Okay, so... I'm... I don't know why I'm here. This is a horrible place, but... I happen to be here in a library. I mean, normally a library is a wonderful place, but this library is not. Yeah, there's nothing in here except cobwebs. And apparently Hero Brian was sculpted by someone and I may or may not be sleeping. I don't know. Ugh. There we go. I thought I was gonna be stuck in there for a second. Book repair. Oh don't do this. Oh no 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 no. Not another corridor. I don't like corridors. Especially this corridor. Oh great, now we're going down into the basement. No, 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 no. I know what's down in the basement because it's always down in the basement in horror maps. And the attic. Oh look, a chest. What could possibly go wrong? Audio log. G2. I'll keep that because it looks important. Hello? Hello? Can anyone hear me? My name's Mark. I, I, I don't know where I am. One second I was studying Trig in my high school library and I, I don't Ugh, know. It Trig. changed somehow. Everything's really dark now. I, I don't know where I am. I keep hearing this voice and telling me to leave, but I don't know what it means. Does anyone know what's going on? I'm recording these discs in case anyone finds them. Maybe they can help me somehow. Please, if you're hearing this, please send help. Okay, well, I have a feeling I am this high school student named Mark. And you know what's way scarier than Hero Brian stalking me in a library? Trigonometry. So, I don't even feel scared anymore. Um. Okay, pistons. Ooh, nice. Nice little conveyor belt thingy. Nothing in the furnaces. Oh, can I hop up here? Um. Ooh. I have a feeling I just got teleported. Or maybe not. Oh, I don't want to go back up the stairs. Nope, maybe I just... I think it... Yeah, I don't think that was teleportation. I think it was just me getting stuck in the gravel. Okay, back up the stairs. Oh, this is going to be a really slow process. Okay, so... Somehow we suffer from some form of... Illness? That... Makes us live inside our head? Probably trauma or PTSD of some kind. Post-traumatic stress disorder, of course. Uh, okay. That's not creepy at all, and... Honestly, I, I have no idea what this painting is. Even without a texture pack. I mean, it could be a snail. That's what I see. Like a snail on a beach. I don't know. <sighs> Great. Doorways are always horrible. I don't speak your language. What is she even saying? <laughs> I think it just said Mew Mew at the end. Um, okay. <sighs> Shelves of books are even creepier than mazes of books, especially because it's super dark. Oh gosh, I think it's getting darker the farther I get away from the light. Hmm. Gosh, it goes on forever. That's what it feels like. Mm. 
least it's brighter here. The foyer. The foyer needs a key, and I don't have a key, so I'm going to have to wander down all these shelves looking for a key, aren't I? And of course, there's the key. Is there anything else in here? No. Nope. Honestly, I don't think there is anything else on these shelves, so I'm just going to ignore it. Oh gosh, I'm so slow. And honestly, I don't think I need these ink sacks either, but I will keep them just in case. Okay, great. The foyer. Oh, more blood. Shelving. Yep, I was in shelving. It was a wonderful experience. I uh, don't wish to repeat it. Ooh. Tolstoy. Like Leo Tolstoy? Okay. Poe. Poe's gone. Oh, no. Rothfuss. I don't even know who Rothfuss is, but I wouldn't want Poe on my tail. Doll. Roll Doll. Roll Doll is evil. Homer. Dickens. Okay, most of these people don't seem like really scary people. And a little fountain. This fountain is my safe place. Oh. Call elevator. I don't want to call the elevator. I know what's going to happen in the elevator. Bad things are going to happen in the elevator. <laughs> Steinbeck. Rowling. It's probably JK Rowling. Collins. Him. What kind of author is him? Gigax. And Arneson. Oh, I think these are just sculptures, and maybe those are labels of famous authors? I don't know. Because this is the foyer. Hmm. I'm gonna have to call the elevator, aren't I? If there is happy elevator music, I will be happy. If there is not happy elevator music, and there's something scary. No! What the heck was that? Um, I'm not hearing happy elevator music. I'm hearing things crawling above me in the elevator. No. Uh-uh. Do not make me go out there. Exit! But it's not the exit, is it? That would be too easy. Hello? It, it's Mark again. I've, I've got it all figured out. This, you read the book in the library, right? We're dreaming right now. This is this is the fantasy world. And whoever's in here with us is trying to wake us up. But listen to me. Don't let him wake you up. You know the book. Whatever's out there in the real world is so much worse than whatever's in here. So don't let him wake you up. Oh god, what's that? He's coming. Listen to me, don't let him wake you up. Don't let him wake Great. Well, Mark's a little slow, first off. But it's okay. He's trying to help us, I think. Oh, goodness. No. Okay. And then all of a sudden, Herobrine ran out from behind a bush. Where am I now? Um, okay. Hello? World? Herobrine was there. Now he's not. What the heck is happening? I guess I should have followed that redstone. Um, let's see. Oh, it's so hard to see. Hello? Um, I'm going to guess that something happened, and so we're going to go uh, slash effect clear. Oops, sorry, uh, slash effect me clear. Oh, that's not going to work. T slash game mode one. And then maybe if I do slash effect cheater alert creative mode detected. Yeah, um, okay. Well... Let's see where exact. Ooh. What? But I died. 
Where am I now? You're in hell, literally. What? But I was in the library, and you were there! Mark was right, Lucas Scooter. That was but a dream. When in a horrible situation, the mind will escape to a dream from which it cannot wake up. You needed to escape hell, so your mind fled. But it was terrifying. It wasn't an escape. As Lord of the Nether, it is my duty to make sure no one ever escapes. Not even through dreams. I came to you in the dream and forcibly woke you up. Compared to hell, that dream was nothing, and you cannot wake up from this. You. I'll find a way out of here that's real and not a dream. I'll kill you. Good luck with that, Yuki Scooter. You can't kill a god, and as for you, the nightmare has only just begun. Why are you walking back and forth? It's really spooky. This map is finished, and so are you. Oh. Are we breaking the fourth wall now? Are you going to do something? No, am I just supposed to sit here? Alright, well, I guess that's it. I think. Possibly. Let's wait just a little bit. Yep, I'm guessing that's it. Alright then. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Suggest a map you want to see played in the comments below, and you just might see it on the screen. Thank you for watching. It's been a real pleasure. I hope to see you later, but until then, remember to have a stripey day. Au revoir. Here is the rating for the librarian. All right, so first we have playable at 4.7. I rated it a 4.7 <laughs> because, well, first off, it was very playable. Um, pretty much anybody could do it. It was wandering around. That was it. There was pretty much no skill involved as far as parkour or puzzles that anybody couldn't figure out. I mean, even the maze if you wander around it enough, you're going to be able to get to the end, and I'm sure most people would be able to figure out that you just had to follow the blood trail. Alright, complete. I rated it a 4, or a 4.0, whichever you prefer to call it. And this was because, um, it did feel complete, except for the fact that Mark just kind of showed up. Uh, I don't really know what he was doing there, just all of a sudden he was there, and he was trying to warn us, and it never really explained why he was there. That would probably be its downfall in completeness for me. Glitch free. I rated it a 4.4. There was that glitch at the end where I got teleported into the redstone and not into uh, Hero Brian's lair, but I do think that was because I didn't have my render distance set far enough. That particular day, my computer was acting a little glitchy, so I turned it down, but I don't think it was far enough because when I went into creative mode and started flying, it updated some chunks, and I think it updated a chunk that teleported me there. So, if that is the case, then this had almost no glitches, but I don't know if that was the case or not, so it received the rating it received. Building, I rated it at a 3.6. Uh, the building was a little bit iffy, and um, I know, I think this is, uh, was, I should say, Ukak 333's first map. I'm not sure on that. But I know he definitely has some more that he's put out, some more recent ones that I would be interested in trying. Uh, so I know this was an earlier map, and uh, he did post in the forum thread that so many people have been finding it and playing it, like me. But because the voice acting was kind of bad, he said, uh, his words, not mine. Or maybe not his words, someone else's in the comments, I don't know. They said that because the acting was kind of bad, he might want to... Uh, revamp this at one point, I guess, is the word I want to use. So, basically the building wasn't very great in this particular map, but I don't doubt his map making skills. I see that, as I said, I think this is his first map, and he definitely did an excellent job with it. Uh, storyline, I rated it a 2.4. Now, I personally did not really like the storyline. 
Uh, as I said, it was kind of confusing. Mark just showed up, and he's trying to help you. It was very, it was very easy to follow. I will give it that. But there were no twists and turns, which are kind of like in a horror map where, you know, there's all these different twists, and it has this really spooky atmosphere. It was, it was. I did like. Uh, we kind of added your in your own head. That was that was kind of interesting, but. Honestly, it just, it wasn't the greatest storyline ever, in my opinion. Okay, creative, I rated it a 2.7. This was pretty creative, but Herobrine is in pretty much every horror map ever. Uh, kudos to putting it in a library, though. I, I think there are a couple horror maps that have libraries, but most of them do take place in the regular horror locations, I guess is what I want to say. Uh, so the total rating is 21.8 out of 30. That's all I have to say, so enjoy the rest of your day. Once again, thank you for watching.